Hey people, I want to show you a new digital locker service for your movies. It's called Movies Anywhere. And what it allows you to do is connect to various video service, video stores, digital video stores, sorry, such as iTunes, Vudu, Amazon, and Google. So whichever one you buy your movie from, which will be playable on the other, within limitations, because there are some negatives at the moment. Now before I get to those, I'm going to point out this promotion. You can connect one account to Movies Anywhere, it's Vudu, iTunes, Amazon, or Google, doesn't matter which, and you get two free movies. The two free are Ice Age and Ghost Remake Ghostbusters. Connect another account, you get Big Hero 6, Jason Bourne, and Lego Movie. Now if that's out of the promotions all the stuff's out of the way, I can get back to the cons. First con, this only works in the United States. Next, this is at the discretion of participating studios. Right now, most of the major studios are are playing along. Uh, of, of the big ones, only Paramount and Lionsgate are not participating. And of the smaller ones, it's A24, Anchor Bay, and the Weinstein companies are not participating. Oh, another issue that's I found on um, ABS forum uh, is that if you want to take advantage of iTunes upgrading um, an HD movie up to Ultra HD or to 4K, uh, you have to directly buy it from iTunes. You won't, won't buying it through Movies Anywhere won't help you. And. Don't look. Oh, another thing, Movies Anywhere does not support 3D, 4K, or HDR at this time. So these can be deal breakers for some of you. And I'm not sure if I already mentioned it only works in the USA. Okay, I think you got the big negatives out of the way. Now I'm going to show you how it works. I've already created an account. Oh, if you're Disney, oh, I'll cover Disney Movies Anywhere people in a moment. Now, one second. All right, now I've logged in, and here is my library from Vo that I got established on Voodoo, with the exception of um, the promo movies and Guardians of the Galaxy 2, Volume 2. So every, so everything from here on down, Pitch Black, Happy Feet, Journey 2, and Journey to Center of the Earth. We already had. Already had available on. We already had on Voodoo. Guardians of the Galaxy 2. I redeemed that directly through Movies Anywhere. And I automatically added it to my Voodoo account. Just enter your redemption code right there. Even though the redemption code for Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Volume 2. Gave a different site. It still accepted it. And it showed up on Voodoo. Uh, give me a moment to switch that over. Do, do, do. Grab the remote properly. There you go. Okay. Stand by for a sudden change of angle. Alright, so uh, get closer so people can see. Try not to wobble their brains out. Alright, so here are my movies. And, oops. That's my wife's. And it's a Paramount, so it doesn't get transferred. Okay, on the arrow keys. So here's everything. That's a big. All right, and like I said, oops, don't know how to steer. Get back there. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. No, I don't want to exit. All right, go back to movies. There we go. I don't know how to steer. Okay, so this is all I. So this, so Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two showed up. My Voodoo account, but it also showed up in my YouTube account. Give me one moment, I didn't bring that remote. Now you're going to notice that Family Jewels does not get included in my account. My, correction, my YouTube account. I may have hit the wrong button. So something may have launched unintentionally. Okay, good, I didn't launch anything. Go into YouTube. 
and go under purchases. And there's Guardians of the Galaxy, Pitch Black, Journey 2, Journey 2, Happy Feet, Lego, Bo Jason Bourne, Ice Age, Ghostbusters Remake, and Big Hero 6. Now, I was going to do a demonstration with iTunes, but my version of iTunes is incredibly old, so it's not compatible. So, I'm going to try to do this, with, see if I can do a link with Amazon. Now, part of the reason I wanted to do this was because I'm using a Nexus player, and Nexus player is one of the versions of Android TV that does not get Voodoo. So, being able to access my movies this way is kind of nice, because I don't like doing it through the Blu-ray player, because, well, it always spins up the motor, and I don't want the motor getting unnecessary wear and tear. You'd think it'd be smart enough to tech, hey, there's no disc in there, don't spin. Nope. Alright, so, let's back out of here. And I probably should have grabbed my TV remote, but I didn't, so I have to grab it again. Go back to Blu-ray player. I'm going to switch it over to Amazon, show you I don't have anything in Amazon. Shove this in your pocket, that's why you have pockets. Okay. I'm going to exit out. Exit out. Yes, this time I mean it. All right. Amazon. Yes, I like Tubi. I hate the way they lay out, though. Layout's terrible on Tubi. Sometimes they just have something nice I want to watch. And I'll show I don't have anything in my video library. Because I've never bought any movies from Amazon. Well, I never bought any digital movies you've bought. This, but not for, but not digital. All right, I'm gonna head back to my computer. And connect the account. Oh, before I do that, whoa, learn to balance. Here we go. Okay, before I do that, I need to show uh, people who had this, this movie anywhere how to link, how to get their content out of there and into here. Because Disney Movies Anywhere doesn't exist anymore. Okay, do do do. Where to go? Migrate Disney Movies Anywhere account. That's where you go. Just click on your name. Third one down. Now I'm gonna go to manage retailers. Oh, before I do that, I forgot. You have profile control, so you can decide who can watch what. If you got you got kids, and you don't want them to watch the hard stuff. Again, it's older. Add a profile. That does that does not look like me. I'm sorry. Change that does not look like me. I, I have more facial hair than that. I don't wear baseball caps. And I don't shave my lip if I have a beard. Yeah, I'll pretend this is a beard. Alright. Save. It'll have to do. Need more options. Okay. Now, I'm going to go back and manage my retailers. And as you see here, I have Voodoo connected. I have Google Play connected. I was going to have iTunes connected, but my iTunes version is incredibly old and it won't accept the new. My computer is too old to accept the newer version. So I'm going to try connecting Amazon. And I'll hit connect and it'll give me ask for my login info. Un momento. Okay, movie magic. I made the connection. Let's see if it shows up on the TV. Strong video library. The movies. Anyway, anyway, there they are. And if you notice, the family jewels is not in there because that was the Paramount. But still, it gives me a lot more freedom than, I, than when you would have had before without having to go through hoops. Oops, buffer shot.
back in. So that was pretty instantaneous. Now the first few days, it the service was slammed. Right, pointing at the right direction. How about I just move closer so you people can see? All right, let's try it again. Back out. All right, I'm gonna go into the video library. Nope, didn't have TV shows, not a problem. Movies. And there are my movies. I should be able to play any of them. Uh, give a test play. And it is showing details, subtitles, IMDb. Probably should have dropped the volume a lot more. Let's fast forward a little bit. A tip line. Oh, it's still going. All right. Adaptive streaming. Not looking so good for HD, but okay, I think the adaptive streaming finally caught up. Dairy Queen, the favorite hangout of intergalactic beings. And that's probably all I can get away with before the attorneys start getting on my case. Plus bonus features. How do I access the bonus features? Well, I don't know how Amazon works, so I can't directly get to it. But, I still think this is nice. You're good. It's not everything, but it's a good start. And it has made more progress right now than Ultraviolet has ha had throughout its entire run. I wish I had more details for you, but I'm still in the process of learning this. And I'm having... Oops. Yeah, there we go. That's how we get out of there. Now, finding out what the characteristics of your movies are. I'm not sure how to do it from a... Amazon, so I'll have to jump back to Voodoo, because I'm more familiar with its inner layout. Exit. At least I find out how the Amazon works on my Blu-ray player. I actually didn't know until just now. Have a workaround for um, Nexus because Amazon's not available for eight. Okay, movies. Go to my voodoo. Okay, learn to read. Down, right. Let's see. I think. You own an HDX? And SD. I want an HDX and XD. And I think if I go to the computer interface for Voodoo, it'll better show what is eligible for movies anywhere and what isn't. So I'm going to shut down my Blu-ray player and jump over to my computer. Okay, pardon the privacy cloth up in the corner, but uh. It's showing my full name, and I'm not ready to go full name yet. Okay, I did not realize when I added Guardians of the Galaxy, it came at Ultra HD. I didn't see, because it was just a regular Blu-ray. Okay, Bourne, Jason Bourne, the freebie I got, Ultra HD, Lego movie, Ultra HD. Big Game Hero 6, nope, not sure why. Oh well. At least some of what you're getting is going to be Ultra HD. Oh, okay, there can be delays when um, the accounts are cross-populating are cross from one service to another. 
Uh, they on the very first couple days. Uh, I think the service launched on uh, it was either Wednesday or Thursday. I think Thursday. Maybe Wednesday. Either way, it was slammed beyond belief. No, I can just look at ours. It will tell me. Uh, it was slammed. What should a, a process it normally would take at most an hour for titles from one platform to move to another, but it was so overloaded the first day it was taking up to eight hours. So things have mellowed down. So things have clearly mellowed out a bit because, as you saw, uh, Amazon was almost instant. I mean, it was like less than a minute from the time I logged in over here link my account over here to when it showed up on my Blu-ray player. I'm really hoping and optimistic that the service will evolve to include all video content. After all, you got the four main stores supporting it. Four main digital stores. Two of those digital stores also are also two of the biggest physical stores in the country. So, like, like I was specul like I speculated, they're in a position to leverage their position to encourage others to join up. Oh, forgot to mention there is no charge for uh, joining movies anywhere. It's completely free, and you can add your movies as you wish. And I hope this service look this is a service that can be handy for you. If you're a multi plat if you're a multi ecosystem household or your loved ones are in different ecosystems than you are, you can still share a movie with them, even though they're on different hardware. And that is all I have for now. Until next time, take care. Bye.